some couples here in the audience that we're having a good time with. You guys took that compatibility test that some of our viewers at home might have taken with the ones they love and which you guys should have taken before you moved in with each other. Um, you guys have been, what's your name? Bruno. And what's your name? Megan. Megan. You've been dating how long? Three months. Three months. Oh, goodness. Don't think about it yet. But just in case you were. How did your compatibility test work out? We didn't match up, but I think we, you know, it was close. I think we did pretty good. It was close. Considering. What was your number one thing that you thought was most important? About all those five things on that compatibility list, you put what is number one? Well, let me check. Okay. <laughs> While you're checking, what about, what about you guys? Uh, communication was number one for me and uh, for my wife. It was uh, same life goals. Same life goals. Uh huh. Now, did, were there any surprises that you guys pretty much answered a lot no, we, of things? Or a lot of mm -hmm. matched almost everywhere. Did you live together before you got married? Yes, for you two did? years. So did it? Does it work for? Did it obviously work for you guys? It's no different from uh, living uh, together and being married together. So when you look at these couples up here, what do you say to them? You love each other. Hang on, because you have the same ups and downs whether you're living together or married. If you love each other. Hang with it because it's it, lot, yeah, it's a relationship. It's, it's the relationship. If you the love's there, then dirty laundry or whatever is yeah. minor. That's and you can work with the dirty laundry. I mean, if you can take them off, all you gotta do is just pitch them and put them in, in uh, the hammer. the bed. Bruno, what'd you find over? <laughs> My choice one was same life goals, whereas Megan's was same communication styles mm -hmm. for one. Mm -hmm. You're getting a little nervous, aren't you, Megan? <laughs> Megan said, oh my God, only three months, and they're talking about moving in. You guys have been married for how long? We've been 20, 20 years. You lived li 20 years. Let's hear it. But check this out. How long did they live wow. together before that 20-year marriage? 17 years. 17 years. Oh. So when you listen to these guys, they must have little jump problems. Yeah, it's, uh, it just takes patience and love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You love each other, you'll, you'll get by. Any surprises on your compatibility list? Uh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Still some surprises. Because the compatibility, I feel that it changes a lot. You mm -hmm. know, in your relationship, it, it changes constantly. So you have to be able to go with the punches all go the time. Go with the ebb and the flow. Mm -hmm. What was number one for you? Uh, same life goals. And, both the, were. and you both agree on the number one issue, right. right? Very good. I think it's important not to be compatible on some things so you have some space to do things without having to be with each other constantly so it doesn't get stale. Have, so having separate interests can seem to help, I think, sometimes. Yeah, but having separate interests is not being not compatible. Okay, I understand. And accepting that the other person needs separate time. Right. That's real important because you'll never make 20 or 40 years if you don't let the other individual have some personal space and have confidence. So compatibility basically means that you have common goals for your relationship. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Okay, what do you say? Um, I think you all make a big mistake by of living together. If you're living together because you have you have plans to get married, I think that's fine. But we've already speaking, done it. We've already moved in together, so. Yeah. Well, speaking from experience, um, I have tried that twice and it didn't work. I was married. Um, I've been divorced 15 years, and I tried, you know, living with my husband before I married. He was like a slob. He became very abusive. And I realized I was playing the role of the super stupid woman because the I like <laughs> because um, my dreams was my first goal was I had to become a lawyer. My second goal I wanted to become a psychiatrist. None of those came in because of this relationship. So he became history, and I'm now you know he's my ex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna have some final thoughts when we come back. Just a minute.